And we were in here the last week of September and noticed that we had a pretty substantial muscle die-off going in the clinch. Uh, at this point uh, in time, we don't know what the cause is. Uh, we're seeing a large number of uh, particularly one, one species, the skull of pheasant shell, acting in eyes pectorosa, uh, dead uh, in the hundreds, if not maybe in the thousands of a few of these places, some of these sites we go to. But we're also seeing some of the other muscle species as well. But we have no idea as to what's causing the, uh, the, the die-off. Uh, we don't have any coal mining here in, on the Tennessee side of the clinic. Uh, there was a, a mass spraying of, of uh, power line right away on the clinch. And, and oddly enough, it, it points up in that direction uh, only because there's not any dead mussels above where they sprayed those power lines. And really all the mussels are telling us is being filter feeders, uh, basically spending their life uh, buried in the stream bottoms, uh, they, they filter and feed and, and, and get oxygen out of the water 24-7. Uh, so they're excellent indicators of, of your water, your water quality. And they're just telling us that, uh, that we have a problem. Everybody drinks this water all up and down. There's all kinds of municipalities that pull water from this river. So the message here is, you know, what's in the water? What's in the water that could be affecting us? I mean, we don't know. I always have said that uh, in, in these areas where you have such an abundance of rare, not, not just rare species, but just an, an abundance of an aquatic fauna to where you can go out and enjoy, you can fish, you can swim, you can canoe it. Uh, if that were to go to go away, if you could not use this water for anything, uh, that's the, that's a, a very traumatic thing to, to, that would happen.